Nightwing serves as one of the most influential and important figures in the modern landscape of the DC Universe. He is the shining example of Batman's biggest success and essentially what Batman wanted for his Robins for Dick Grayson to become kind of like a somewhat better version of himself when it comes to dealing with trauma and being a shining beacon of hope for other heroes. And many criticisms that, you know, goes against many iconic heroes like Batman or very specifically Spider-Man is that they kind of have a stagnant growth when it comes to like their character arc. You know, they have a very significant shift in their character that changes like their livelihood, like, you know, uh, Peter Parker getting married to MJ and actually growing as an adult and as a person, but then DC or Marvel editorial kind of realizes that it's like, wait, they kind of have to be in a stagnant position. They can't really grow too much. They kind of have to be in the same status quo throughout all. So you have like, you know, he'll spider-man will be married mj for a bit and then they'll kind of just reset that and all of a sudden he's like a high schooler again but when it comes to a lot of like the dc legacy characters like wally west and in this example nightwing is that you actually see them grow like it's not like dick grayson has reverted back to like the robin role in like the main continuity like sure you have stories that center on that like you know batman superman world's finest by mark wade or like that robin and batman miniseries but for the most part in modern day you see him grow as a leader and just his overall impact on other significant heroes like the trinity or the justice league in the dc universe as of recently there was like a major crisis event which dc is infamously known for their countless myriad crisis events that sort of either reboot or sort of soft reboot relaunch the universe technically dc's only had like two major reboots but a lot of like their really big crisis crossover events shift the universe in one way or another and then in this story you see like the supposed death of the justice league and nightwing serves as one of the leading characters to kind of lead the like i guess current like future generation of heroes and serves as kind of like the temporary leader of the justice league of like those who remained his character quickly took point to reassure the world of its safety while leading the grieving heroes at the start of the story and with the state of the current dc comics continuity after dark crisis nightwing has been positioned as the heart and soul of the DC universe going forward with the whole dawn of DC initiative and then after the events of Dark Crisis with the Trinity you know that being Batman Superman and Wonder Woman basically confront Nightwing and reveal their desires for him wanting to essentially become the new leader of the DC universe essentially as the Justice League serves on an indefinite hiatus at the moment so then they you know Batman and you know kind of talks with Nightwing and wants him and his, his longtime partners that being the Titans to to become the DC Universe's first line of defense against all threats. And in the pages of Nightwing issue 100 by Tom Taylor, you see how in Bloodhaven, Nightwing establishes a new Titans Tower base in the city of Bloodhaven and really firmly establishes the new presence of the Titans going forward. And then even before all this, you kind of just see his effect on other heroes as you see his dynamics with the Bat family, obviously kind of being like the golden boy of that dynamic group alongside kind of mentoring heroes like Jonathan Kent Superman, showing him through the ropes. And then you see like certain back issues or in that comic series which i haven't really read yet you know jonathan kent current day doesn't really interest me but whenever i would see it in like uh, the nightwing issues by tom taylor and a lot of dick grayson's more positive attributes that really exemplify his solidified role in the dc universe and why he's so respected i think a really good example is the fact when alfred's death in the hands of bane and like the city of bane are in tom king's batman run and after the events of joker war in which bruce wayne lost a significant amount of his money access to like you know things like the Batcave and whatnot so he just wasn't as rich anymore alfred's will essentially gave dick like a buttload of money and then he used that to help reform the city of Bloodhaven and give a lot of it to charity and kind of help his half sister's efforts you know, into becoming like a more prominent figure in the city of Bloodhaven. And then I remember the, the that one issue of Nightwing, I forget which one it was, where you just had like a bunch of heroes come in like to aid Nightwing like whenever he was in trouble. D like just another example of showing you like how much these heroes are willing to do just for his sake and why they respect him so much as a hero. And I kind of, I just hope this level of treatment and respect is given in live action at some point. You know, I guarantee you that Nightwing will make an appearance in The Brave and the Bold for James Gunn's DCU and hopefully be a prominent figure in the DC universe as he should be.